Came through drippin'. Came through drippin'. Hey, 2020, start by finding any leaks with your business or personal finances. I guarantee you, fixing the leaks early in the year are gonna help you, you know, with a lot of headache at the end of the year. So, what are the what are some leaks? Okay, let's say this is your bank account, right? Everybody has some leaks. And the faster you fix these leaks, the better you're gonna look at the end of the year, December. So uh, some leaks can be like gym memberships. If you have two gym memberships, or if, so, if you have three gym memberships, you might wanna say, you know what, am I really using all these gym memberships? And, and just fix that leak, that's a leak. Uh, any, any online subscription that you have, uh, whether it be personal or like business. I know like la like the beginning of last year we had some subscriptions with some online services that we use for marketing and for like emails and like uh, different kind of uh, uh, chat bot and like all this other stuff that you might have subscribed to at the beginning of the year and you no longer use it. Uh, go ahead and just eliminate those things. It doesn't matter. I know the thing is like whenever you're gonna go to unsubscribe to something, you're, you're like, oh, what if I what if I want to use it next month? What if I need it? So you kind of keep it and it just, it, it just leaks your account. Like that's all it is, it's just leaks. Uh, people can be leaks in your account. If you have people that are constantly asking you for money, uh, they're leaks. So you need to make sure that you start off the year by saying, hey, look, you know what? I'm not going to give you any more money. Because they always say, hey, can I borrow some money? But they never pay you back. So in reality, you're just giving them money. So you say, you know what? I'm not going to give you no more money. So... I'm, I'm fixing this leak so the, 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 the barrel's dry. Just say the barrel's dry. Uh, online services, I copied that, but uh, anything that you can find that's leaking your account. And I'll give you an example. Like uh, we, my daughter, my youngest daughter was in like some uh, gymnast, uh, ballet, or not uh, gymnastics earlier in the year. She stopped going, but the gym was still charging our account. And every time we would call, we'll get an answering service or we'll get like a message and we'll have to leave a message. We'll call you back. They never called back or whatever. So this went on for a couple months. Finally, I told my wife, I said, you know what, just, just go over there and just wait till someone gets there and just tell them we want to cancel it because it's just, it's just draining our account. It's a small drip every month. It was a small drip. It was a small leak. Not a drip, it was a leak. I'm going to get to drips in a little bit. This, these are leaks. I'm talking about leaks right now. Eliminate the leaks. Figure out what's leaking your account. And just eliminate them. Don't don't try to patch them up. Go ahead and just fix it. It's kind of like a leaking faucet. You don't try to just you know tighten it more. Just go ahead and put a new faucet on that. Okay. And this is going to be similar to like uh, we've all seen like a leaky faucet, or we all seen like a, a, a roof, like a leak in the roof. If you go into like Walmart or Home Depot, you've seen how they they put a, a big uh, 55 gallon trash can right there. And you know what? If they leave that trash can there for a couple of days, it's going to fill up with water. It's the same thing like your account. These leaks at the end of the year, they're going to add up. So you can even do that. See what all your leaks are and then times them times 12 and you'll see how much you're, you're losing every, every year. So then on the flip side of that, as you fix these leaks, work on creating drips. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a leak. This is a drip. They sound the same, but you want to create drips in your life, okay? A drip is going to be, let's say if you're in business, you, you find a new client, you find a new vendor, a new vendor that has resources to send you work. So you find a new client that's going to send you new customers. You know, maybe he might send you one customer a month. That customer has an has a, a average net income on it. So that's going to be a drip into your finances. That's going to add... So this, this act like this is the bucket right here. You're the bucket. You, the money's gonna go into your bucket, all right? Instead of it leaking, you're gonna start to save it. A side hustle. I'm not talking about selling drugs. I'm talking about a hobby. If you have a hobby and you can make some money on the weekends or in the evening, uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna create a drip. Uh, if you can put in some extra hours at your work, Without killing yourself, ask your boss, hey, what else can I do around the office to earn a little extra income? That's going to create a drip. You're already there, so why not ask what else you can do to create a little extra drip? And just be creative with it. Stop and ask yourself, hey, you know what? What can I do to create some extra drips each month? 
And see, a lot of times we think we're like, okay, I need a, I need an extra five thousand. I need an extra ten thousand a month. Okay, that's too big of a drip to create like overnight. Start by creating these little drips. These little drips will add up. It's the same thing like I said with like a leaky faucet. If you if you're the bucket and you have these these drips all year, just imagine what's gonna accumulate at the end of the year. Okay, so it's the same thing. You want to eliminate the leaks and you want to add some drips. 